Hello guys and welcome to part 3 in this video series in where I show you how to make this small boat or fishing boat. Now in part 1 we made this big hull piece and in part 2 we made the deck and the pieces for the chimney or smokestack. And in this part 3, we are going to make the cabin. This one. And like I mentioned in the first part of this series, I am going to use a different color scheme in this one than I used on the original boat. So the cabin is going to be made out of this light green. Simply because it's picked up better by the camera. And the windows is going to be made by this back yarn. So we're going to start off with our green yarn. And we make a slip knot. And now for row one, we are going to chain 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a 10. So that's 10 chains. For row two, we chain one more. Then we go through the second chain from the hook here. And we make a single crochet. And then we continue making single crochet, one in each chain, all the way back. So the row total on this row should be 10 single crochet. This is 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, Mister. And ten. There we go, so that was row two. Now for row three, we're going to do the same thing. We chain one, we turn, and we're going to make ten single crochet. This is two, and three, and four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and then our tenth and last here. This is always a tricky stitch. Should we make sure we have both loops here? And we, as soon as I am able to go through, of course it's failed. Go through again, make sure we have both loops here. Pick up yarn and we pull through. So that was row three. Now for row four, same thing again. Chain one, we turn, and we're going to make 10 single crochet. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the tenth and last one here. So that was row four. So that was row four. And all the four walls are going to begin like this. So one row of chains and then three row of single crochet, 10 across. And it's from this point and forward they diverge. So I think we're going to start by making the front of the cabin, which has the two windows, because that's the most advanced piece. So for row five, we're going to chain one, we're going to turn, 
and we're going to start like we're making a single crochet and but we stop here with two loops on the hook and also worth mentioning is that when you have the tail here to the right i'm using that face as my outside face so this is going to be the inside so all the threads i drop when i change color and so on i drop them if i hold it like this i drop them on this side the back side so when we have the two loops we take out the black yarn And we're going to pull through these two loops with the black to change color. And we pull the green one, wrong green, wrong, the green one a bit tight. And then we are going to single crochet three times with the black. But if we just go through like this, both loops, it's going to be kind of jagged here and the contrast between the colors. So what we do is we're going to just go through the back loop only of this stitch. We pick up the black and we make a single crochet. That will keep like a straighter edge for like the window sill of the windows. And also, since the distance here are so short, we're just going to travel three stitches, change color, do two stitches, change color, do three stitches, change color, do one. And when we have short distances like that, we don't need to cut the yarn every time and move the source. What we can do so far we made one green, we changed color and we made one black. So before we do the next one, I'm going to take the green source here and I'm going to place it along the back here. First I make sure it's not loose and then I go through once again, only back loop, pick up black and I make a second single crochet. And now I kind of tie this in here. So we make the third and last black. And here we change color. We still have the green here inside. And we're going to change color to green. So I only make the two loops. I in over with the green. I tighten the black down a bit. And now we're going to make two single crochet with this green. And now we do the same thing, but with the black. I mean, carrying it. So, and also with the green, you don't need to worry about back loop only. Because here it's not going to show. It's not going to look weird just doing regular stitches. So now we do two regular single crochet with the, uh, with the green. And we have the black here alongside. And on the second green, we change color to black again. And we tighten down the green a bit. Then we repeat what we did here. So we take the green, place it alongside, go through back loop only, and we make a single crochet. Still with the green here, we make a second and a third. And on this third, we stop here, drop the black, pick the green, and pull through. And now we make our last stitch here in a row with the green. And that's a regular single crochet. So it was row five. Now for row six, that's going to be a bit simpler. We're still going to carry the yarn, but we don't need to worry about back loop only here. We chain one, we turn, and we start the one single crochet here. We pause here, and now the green is on this side, and we need to get it over here. So what I do is, I make sure I have a like, good tension here. Yeah, something like that. Then I take it over here. I hold it. Take the back yarn. And pull through. We make our first stitch here. And like I said, not worrying about the back loops. We got to do a regular single crochet. Now I take the green, place it alongside, and I make the second stitch. And then here on the third, we're going to do the same thing with the black. We lift it over here, and we pick up the green. We take the black, place it alongside, and we're going to make two single crochet with the green. That's one, and this is two. And here, once again, move it over to this side. We pick up the black, and we go through. Now with the black yarn, we tighten the green, 
And also don't over tighten this because that will cause the piece to kind of bend inwards and we don't want that. So just tight enough to that it's still flat. And also not loose. So with the black, we do one, two, and a three. And on the third, we take the green. And we're going to make a single crochet here in the last stitch. Go through six. Row seven. We're going to continue in the same manner. Chain one turn. Start as if we're making a stitch. With two loops, take back, pull through, pull tighter. Then we're gonna make three single crochet with the black while carrying the green. That's one. This is two. This is three. We pause, change color to green, tighten, carry the black, make two single crochet with the green. The one on the second, we pause. Change color to black, tighten. We carry the green. We're gonna make three with the black. So one, two, and three. And on this third, we change color to green again. Tighten. And we make one single crochet with the green. So it's four, five, six, seven. Row eight, it's gonna be the same thing. Chain one, turn. And this is, since we're going this way, we need to lift it over again. Pick up the black. Now we're gonna make three black single crochet while carrying the green. So one, two, and three. Move it over. Pick up the green, and make two with the green, single crochet, while carrying the black. And you, as you see here, it's not mandatory to carry it every stitch, since this side is not going to show anyway. So sometimes I just let it hang and then I pick it up on the next row, it doesn't really matter if you miss one. But here we change to black again, and we're going to carry the green. So we tighten and we make one, two, and a third. Change color to green. And we make the last single crochet. That's row eight. You can see the window start to take shape now. Row nine, it's going to be the same thing. Chain one, we turn. Start the single crochet, change color to black. Tighten. We make three single crochet with the black while carrying the green. Over to the next patch. It's two. And on the third black stitch, we change color to green again. Tighten. Carry the black here. I'm going to make two single crochet with the green. And on the second, we change color. Tighten. We carry the green and we're going to make three single crochet with the black. So one, two, and three. And on the third, we change color back to black again. Tighten. And we make one single crochet. That was nine. Now row 10 is gonna be our last row here. So we start the same way, we chain one, we turn. Or I mean same, uh, last row with the black. So chain one turn, start the same way. We make a single crochet only to here, pull through with the black. We're gonna make three single crochet with the black. While carrying this green. We make two, we make three, 
we change color to green again with the green we're going to make two single crochet so one two change color to black with the black we're going to make three while carrying the green so one two and the third oh and on the third we change color to green and we make the last single crochet with the green we tighten there we go that was row 10. now for row 11 we are not going to use this black so we can actually go ahead and cut this off and we don't really need this anymore more than to fasten it so i just leave like was that three inches two inches because we're just going to work with the green now row 11 and up so for row 11 we change one we turn we make one single crochet here in the first stitch because the whole row is going to be single crochet but once again we are to get a nicer edge here we're just going to go through back loop only on these black chains uh black stitches here and one thing just hit me we can actually do this we're gonna carry the black here to kind of fasten it so then we don't need to do that manually so we find the back loop only here we place the black alongside and we make three single crochet here the next three back loop only so two and then the third and last one of the black here back loop only next stitch is a regular single crochet through both loops and then an same thing in the next one i'm still carrying the black one here then we get to the next black patch here once again we go through back loop only for one two and three now i'm actually going to drop the black because i don't want it all the way out here the last one here without carrying the black would make a regular single crochet in the green so that was row 11. Now row 12 is going to be our last row here. We chain one, we turn, and we're going to make 12 single crochet with the green. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight did i say 12 obviously i meant 10 10 single crochet if i said 12 i meant 10. and 10. then we're going to do a chain one here so there we go that's the front of the cabin all done so we cut the yarn here and we can use this tail while attaching the sides together so i'm actually leaving like a foot foot and a half here of yarn we can put this aside for now next we're going to make the left side of the cabin and that side only has one window just as the right side but they are kind of reversed from each other or mirrored and I just skipped ahead here. This is four rows, same we did on the first uh, section, like the front. So row chains, ten chains, one chain turn, and then ten single crochet for three rows. So this is row four. I remember, start tail to the left. This is the inside we're looking at. And since this is going to be the left side, we are going to start because then that means the window is going to be here on this side because. It's going to be like this uh, on the left side of the boat. So we chain one, we turn, and we're going to single crochet six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five. And on the sixth stitch here, we pause to change color. And since the tail is on the right, we're going to drop the tails on this side. And with the black yarn, we're going to do the same thing here. We are going to go through back loop only. And we're also going to carry this green over to the other side. To go through the back loop only, we carry the green. And we make a single crochet with the black. Tighten a bit. And then we make two more. Still back loop only, still carrying the other green. And a third one here. And on that stitch, we change color to green. And we tighten the back a bit. And we make a regular single crochet in the last stitch here. So pretty much the same concept as the front of the cabin, except we only do one window. Now for row six, we chain one, we turn, we start a single crochet, but we're gonna change color to black again. So pull through the two loops, tighten a bit, and we're gonna make regular single crochet with the black. So we make one, take the green to carry it. We make two. And we make three with the black. And on the third, we change color to green. And now it should be six single or six stitches left, which is going to be six single crochet. Three, four, five. And the sixth and last here. There we go, so it was row six, row seven. Pretty much gonna be a repetition. We chain one, we turn, and we're gonna make six single crochet. The so one, two, three, four, five, and on the sixth stitch, change color to black again. Tighten a bit, and now we're going to carry the green over to the other side. And this is also single crochet, three black. And on the third, we change color to green again. Tighten, and we make one single crochet. Five, six, seven. So that was row seven. Row eight. Maybe the same thing. Chain one turn. Change color to black. And we're, oh, sorry, we're also going to carry the green. And we're going to make three single crochet with the green. One. No, sorry, three single crochet with the black while carrying the green. Which on the third black stitch, we change color to green again, and we're going to make six single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth one here in the last. There we go, so that was row five, six, seven, eight. Row nine, chain one, we turn. We're gonna make six single crochet with the green. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now the sixth, we change color to black again. And once more, we're gonna carry the green here for the three black stitches. So one, two, three, and we change color to green with the green. 
we make one single crochet. That was row nine. Row 10 is gonna be the last row with two colors. It's the same as the other ones, we chain one turn. We change color to black, tighten it a bit. We're gonna carry the green. Oh, it's going to get, getting a bit tricky here with all the threads. So one, two, and three. And we change color to green for the last time here. And it should be six single crochet with the green. So two, three, four, five and the sixth and last one here that was row 10 for 11 12 it's just going to be the green single crochet 10 stitches across so one two three four five six I think what we're gonna do is cut this black off. And we're gonna carry this to fasten it. So now I'm carrying the black. Seven. Oh, right, sorry. While going over the window here, we're gonna do the same thing as we did on the front. We go through back loop only to get a nicer edge, but I'm still carrying the black. So we go one back loop only, two, and three back loop only. Then I drop this for now, make a single crochet in the last stitch here, regular, both loops. Here we go, so it was row, should be 11. Last row, we're gonna chain one turn, we're gonna single crochet across the piece. And the total should still be 10. And what we can do here is actually lift this upper row like this to make it more secure because now we only crochet it into three stitches down here. That's a bit on the low side. So we're going to keep on carrying this for a bit up here to make sure it's tight. Maybe to somewhere like here in the middle. Yeah, like so. We drop it here. And we finish the row. Nine and the tenth one here. And we put one more chain here just to lock it. And same thing here. We leave a foot, foot and a half. Oh, sorry. You didn't see that. And I cut it off. So there we go, that is the left side of the cabin, like this. So here we are again, we're gonna make the right side this time. So it's the same almost as the last one, except it's reversed. So I went ahead and made up to row four, but it's the exact same start, 10 chains, chain one more, turn, 10 single crochet three times for a total of four rows, counting the chain row. So this is row five. We're gonna start by chaining one, turn, and we're gonna make a single crochet. If we pause here on the first stitch, and we take out the black yarn. With the black yarn, we're gonna make three single crochet, and same thing as on the, as on the other pieces, back loop only while carrying the green. So one, two, and three. And on the third, we change color back to green. Tighten a bit. And now we're gonna make six single crochet with the green. So one, 
two, three, four, five, and six. So it was row five, row six, we're going to chain one, we're going to turn, and we're going to make six single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth and last one here for the green, we change color to black. And now we're going to make three regular single crochet with the black. So don't worry about the loops for this row. Any row up until the last one with the black. But anyway, so we make three here. One, two, and three. And on the third, we change color back to green. And we make a single crochet. That was row six, row seven, we chain one, we turn, start the same, we do a single crochet, but we stop here, pick up black, pull through both loops, and we're going to make three single crochet with the black. So one, and we start to carry the green. Two, and three. And on the third, we change color to green, pull the tight, the black tight. And now we're going to make six single crochet. So two, three, four, five, and the sixth one here. There we go. So that was row five, six, seven for row eight. Chain one turn, six single crochet. And on the sixth and last one, we change color to black. We're going to carry the green one here. For one, two, and on the third one here, we are once again going to change color to green. And we make one last stitch with the green. Or single crochet, sorry. So five, six, seven, eight. So this is row nine. The next one, we chain one, we turn, we start the single crochet, but we change color to black, pull the green tight of it. Now we're going to make three single crochet with the black. Two, and on the third, we change color to green, pull it tight. Now we're going to make six single crochet. Six. So that's nine. So this is going to be the 10th and last row where we change color. So we start the same way, chain one turn. And we're going to make six single crochet with the green. Four, five, and the sixth. Here we change color. I'm going to carry the green. Still, I make one, two, and a third. And on this third, we change color back to green. And we make a last stitch here with the green, or single crochet with the green. There we go. So now, once again, we can cut this black yarn off because we don't need that no more.
I only leave a few inches. Now for row 11, this is going to be all green, but we're going to uh, crochet into the back loops only here on the black. But we start with a regular single crochet. Then we go into this first back loop here. We're also going to carry this black so we don't have to work it in later. We have one single crochet, back loop only. Two, still carrying the black. And a third here in the last one. It can be a bit tricky. There we go. Yeah. And then we continue with the six single crochet here. And like I mentioned, I'm still carrying the black. Oh, now I got it mixed up. There we go. Keep on working along here. And since on this side, we have a bit more travel distance from where the black emanated over here so we don't need to carry it twice on two rows or i mean once on each row so we're just going to carry it here to the next to last stitch then i drop it there we go so that was row 11 now for row 12 this is going to be the last row we chain one we turn and once again we're going to make 10 single crochet with the black yeah with the green but this time it's no nothing fancy, no back loops only, no nothing, just all the way to the end with single crochet. There we go, and we finished the row with a chain one, and we cut this leaving about a foot, foot and a half. And there we go, that's our right side of the cabin. Now for the back side of the cabin, I realized when I kind of started this that <laughs> I don't really need to show you this. Uh, it's just single crochet. Wait, let me show you. This is the back side of the cabin. <laughs> As you can see, it's just single crochet rows. It starts with a chain row, 10, just like the sides. But then it's just single crochet back and forth, back and forth. For the same amount. So it's going to be 12 rows if we count the chain row with 10 single crochet. Yeah, and that, that's about it. So this is the same four row start that I showed you on the other sides. So we're just going to continue chain one turn. We're going to single crochet along the piece for a row total of 10. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and the tenth and last stitch here. And that's about it. Uh, this was row five, so what's that? That's seven more times. So we need 12 rows, including the chain row. Uh, I will sh meet you here in a few seconds and I will just do this off camera. Now, here we are at the end, and this is the back side the back piece back wall whatever we want to call it and we're going to finish this the same way after our 12 rows here we chain one tighten it a bit and then we cut it off leaving about a foot foot and a half and we put that aside for now And now for the last piece of the cabin, the roof. And we're going to make that out of the same darker green as we made the hull piece in the first video. And the roof is almost going to be the same as this. 
it is it is this, but it's one row shorter, so it's just eleven rows high. And there's a reason for that, because all these pieces are ten wide. And they are going to be stitched like this in a square. So the square is gonna be each side is gonna measure ten single crochet or ten stitches. And we are going to crochet single crochet to be more precise, the row, uh, sorry, the roof onto the cabin once we stitch this together. And we're gonna match up the lines, the rows like this. So this is one stitch, this is one stitch, this is one stitch, and they correspond to one, 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 all the way here. But we make it 11 high because I don't want to crochet into the chains down here because it didn't look good kind of. So we're just gonna go straight into the first or second, in this case, row here, when we crochet it onto this square. So that's why we make a piece like this with the dark green, but we make it one row less, because then it's gonna match up like this, and it's gonna compensate for us jumping over the chain. So we start off with the darker green, and this is gonna be the exact same thing. So I'm just gonna show you the start here. It's 10 chains. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a tenth. We make one more chain, and then we're gonna single crochet our way back. And the row total here should be 10 single crochet. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the tenth and last here. So that was row two, row three, we chain one, we turn, and we're gonna single crochet our way back for a row total of 10 single crochets. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the tenth and last here. And this is always the tricky stitch. There we go. We need to make sure that we got both loops there. That was row three, and we're just gonna continue like that. One chain turn, ten single crochet all the way to the end, rinse, repeat. And we're gonna make, so that was three, so we're gonna make eight more rows, so row total of 11, counting the chains. I'm just gonna do that off camera, and I will see you here in a second. And here we are on the last stitch on row 11. So we're just gonna finish this, and then we chain one to close on the roof. And I know this doesn't look square, it's because it isn't, but the roof piece will sort itself out, because we're, we're gonna crochet along the edge here, along all sides. Plus, when we force it onto the other side here, it's kinda gonna stretch this out, so it, I promise you, it will sort itself out once we attach everything. In the meantime, we are... Hmm, we're actually not gonna cut this off. Now we're gonna leave it like this for now, because I can't remember if I started here or if I reattached, but we'll leave it that, like that just in case. So that's gonna conclude this part three in this series where we made the roof piece you see here, the front of the cabin, the right side of the cabin, the left side of the cabin, and the roof. So in the next video, all that's left is to attach all the pieces and finish this project. 
and that video is going to be out in a couple of days. Until then, feel free to subscribe if you like to see more crafting crochet tutorials. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.